Hey Pisces, welcome to High Priestess Healing Tarot, where you are the High Priestess. Trusting patterns over promises outside of you. Trust that body, yaddy, yaddy, to tell you what is right. Of course, we have coffin during Scorpio season. House, coffin, it's going backwards, 2019. One more. Toil and labor, 38, 8, 9, 10, 11. And 11 is master manifester. Okay. Pisces, there's something that you are preserving inside of you, or there's something that you're working on in private. There's something very private about your soul work right now. Maybe you're not sharing it with a lot of people. Maybe you're only sharing it with, you know, your spiritual community or maybe nobody. Maybe it's, you know, you're just listening to spiritual content and you're not really talking about it with anybody it's like locked up you're keeping it close to home while you figure out how to move forward with this um there is death and rebirth energy as it pertains to you this is straight up about you there's an old version of you that's being dissolved we'll say right now so that you can be purified into light it's not to say that there isn't hard work um associated with this but this hard work the toil and labor it actually leads to stronger manifestation abilities i don't know that this is like so much okay let me not talk let me pull tarot house card number 20 associated with judgment judgment call making judgment decisions whoa if you are heart healing if you are heart healing what it is that you are seeking is seeking you too. And it will come freely. See, this house is, it's locked up. It's behind a gate. It's a gated property. You are boundaried up right now. That's a beautiful thing. So that you can let this old version go and work through that death and rebirth process. The lovers under the sun, we're going from darkness, the night to the sun, Truth, clarity, Archangel Raphael residing over, angels bringing you together in freedom. This is free. There's no restriction. There's no chain on the devil card. It's the same imagery, but it's darkness and it's there's chains here. This mountain is the journey, but they're free to take that journey together. It's of free will, free volition. And they're stripped down to their authenticity. This death in the house is like, are you allowing yourself to really strip down to your most raw version of yourself? Even the parts that you're like, I know humanity, I know people won't like this about me. Not coping mechanisms, not defenses, not walls, not I developed this part of my personality to be liked, right? Like I make a lot of jokes. I'm very, very playful, that, but that is a defense mechanism. That's something I learned at a young age. If if I can make people laugh, I'm disarming them. And then I'm safe. Like they, It's like a smoother way for me to get people to know me, you know? But that it is what it is. People will be like, oh, she's so silly or corny or funny or whatever. And it's like, yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> I learned that to stay safe, right? There's an element of you dissolving lots and lots of those types of things. So that you can show up super, super stripped down, raw, authentic. Because that's the way you're going to attract that equivalent match. If you haven't been doing that up to this point, you might be attracting people who are only vibrating with the facade, the mask, the presentation of. But if the presentation of you is too far off from like the realness, then there's going to be discourse and discord in the house right the lovers is a choice card though you have you have the choice to choose which of these parts of me am i releasing dissolving which of these parts of me are am i stepping more into into the light revealing truth revealed exposure and that brings harmony to your soul regardless of who's around you can i get a little more for this house judgment call wow look at you you cutie look at you cutie 
smooch you right on the face. Um, this is you choosing your cup. You're like, what makes me happy? Does being corny make me happy? Maybe it does. It makes me happy. My humor used to be a lot of self-deprecation. That's what I had to let go of. But let me tell you, when I was in the self-deprecating humor realm, great content, guys. <laughs> great jokes. <laughs> okay, this is you choosing, truly, what fulfills me. Ooh, High Priestess wanted to pop. What fulfills me? What makes me feel whole, in tune, connected to source, safe, and real? Wow, master number three, three, anything is possible. You could also be patiently waiting for this. Um, could be patiently waiting for like the right person to present themselves to you on your journey. Here's the thing though, hermit if you need to. And also, um, they're not gonna come to our house. I've tried, I've tried. They're not gonna come to our house. <laughs> So we do have to get out. We have to step into the community, create community, meet community. But this is good, Pisces. This is you, like, you're kind of, like, patiently waiting for the right thing to show up, the right thing to be. And you, while you're building this, it's not really building, but building this new version of your mind-body-soul connection. I think the building is really unbecoming. You ever hear that? It's like, what if becoming is unbecoming all the things you learned to be to stay safe? And you, what if you just let those things go? That's why hermit mode is so beneficial when, you, when you're when you not around society for a minute, whether it's a year, two years, nine months, six months, three months. You get time to just be with yourself and be like, let me just do only what I want to do and say only what I want to say and listen to, watch, wear, only what I want. You like come into closer union with yourself, right? Can I get some additional insight on this? Whoa. Two of Cups in Reverse, Ten of Pentacles. Pisces, for anybody who's going through a breakup right now, let yourself do this solo mission. Allow yourself to reflect on what did I not want in this relationship? What did I not like in this dynamic? So that you can come closer to your Ten of Pentacles, which is building with someone else, right? For those of you who aren't going through a breakup, Two of Cups in Reverse is like... Um, the union with yourself may have got, may have to be flipped on its head. You might have to pour out these two cups of like, I always thought my humanness and spiritness connected this way. And this is how we were rocking and rolling. And it's okay for you to come to a point where you're like, ooh, that's actually no, no longer serving me. That was a bit of a, of a mask or a facade, even if it was a level up from a previous version of you. Was that too abstract? spiritual ascension that awakening it's a spiral staircase so you're going to visit and revisit versions of you old versions of you new versions of you and there's this constant evolution of like release like becoming and releasing unbecoming becoming releasing but this three of pentacles ten of pentacles is a beautiful thing this is like assurance um see the sacred geometry up here in this ten of pentacles energy up here sacred geometry it's like you can't erase that it's destined so this ten of pentacles is destined sharing a house a home a life with somebody whatever that means to you it's destined for you um but there has to be some kind of break up for the this realness to come in for the soul tie to come in for the angelic ordained relationship to come in there has to be some kind of breakup and it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be breaking up with an old version of you, which I think, I think that's what it is. And if it's not an old version of you, it could literally be like where you're living. It could be a job. It could be a group of friends. It could be a mindset, but it's coming back into this authenticity of what do I want my cup first, building mind, body, soul connection of what is true for me. This is a soul calling. One more, two of cups, 10 of pentacles. Yeah, love that, devil in reverse. It's releasing the illusion. So it's like if you used to be like, I have to present this way, otherwise people will not vibe with or be attracted to or want to connect with me. There's illusion and delusion that you are being, I don't know if you're already doing this or if the next like two weeks you're going to be 
shedding this other layer while we're in this death and rebirth season. But this is super promising, Pisces. Devil in reverse, two of cups in reverse. There was some kind of restriction on your energy, on your cup energy. If there's a restriction on your emotional energy, a if there's a restriction on your energy in any area, it's going to fuck up all the other areas, period. End of story. It just is what it is. So you could be experiencing like an issue in romance and it affects your work life. You could be experiencing how many times you have a stressful work day and you come home and like it affects your family life, right? You're like, I'm in a bad mood. I don't have time. I don't have patience, like all this shit, right? So if we start looking at all aspects of our life, like banking, our bank account is like, I need balance and moderation and these other areas have to all vibe with one another. They have to add to one another. They can't be creating discord into the other cups. I think this is like the sole work you'll be doing now, toil and labor, it is work, but it's gonna reward you major, major. The lover's 10 of pentacles is like, soul predestined, Fulfillment, connection, building, community, family, wealth, home, stability. Yeah, four of wands at the bottom. We need good news like that. The four of wands is celebrating that. 11-11 manifestation energy. It's meeting your match. It's meeting a true match, a true mirror. Yeah, after that discord. That five of swords energy is like, I'll do whatever it takes for someone to love me. Do less. You have permission to do less. Just be you. And then someone is going to be like, I love that you're you. Coffin. Whoa, dude. Jesus. Literally. The Hierophant. Um, you know, I love me some Susan Tarot. She's my, that is my, I love her so much. Um, she's so soothing. The Hierophant, she calls the Hierophant the God card. And I love that. Um, the Hierophant, the spiritual teacher the connection to the to the divine the mind body soul connection he is the um spiritual teacher by day high priestess at night right card number five so it's a challenging this like spiritual ascension the spiritual journey the spiritual awakening it's not a love and light and anyone that tries to tell you that that's a skewed limited perception the spiritual path this death and rebirth is enduring the work the grueling pain and releasing those things and if we think about that butterfly journey right it's challenging and difficult for the butterfly to come out of the cocoon um, because there's a there's a complete dissolution of the body goes into liquid form then they metamorph then they struggle to get out you've heard me say this before if you've been following me a while that struggle to get out of the cocoon that's kind of what makes the butterfly the butterfly they have to struggle because it Birds confirming. Thank you so much, Spirit. Because the wing strength needs to be built so that they can fly and not fall susceptible to predators. This is giving soul contract like your soul agreed to this. And this dissolution of an old version of how you show up in relationships. Yep, shadow work queen. This dissolution of the old way that you show up in re relationships is going to free you from delusion. Now, delusion in relationships is like giving people too many chances, too much time, too much rope, too many, too like give them an inch, they take a mile in the hopes of, and it's like no more hopes of Pisces. You don't got to do that. No more hopes of. Let people show you, let people's behavior and actions be the, the pentacle proof that you need. Save that beautiful spiritual juice about you, save it for when they've already shown consistency or presence or they've put in the same level of work. The Queen of Wands goes into her shadow. That black cat protects her in the spiritual realm and she comes out with a sunflower. So she's all like, she's radiant, she's glowing, she's hotty patati, she's got a glisten about her, but it's because of the toil and labor. This isn't handed to her. This is through hard work, through spiritual ascension, through the gruelingness of death and rebirth of the ego. And, you know, the ego doesn't die. It just um, evolves. Wow, dude. Now you have 333 three, three on the table. You're being guided by the Ascended Masters to step into a higher timeline of healing and receiving through Divine Motherhood. Divine Motherhood. It's the, the 
era or the timeline of the divine feminine. From death comes birth. There could be 12 lifetimes before this that you've lived to get you to where you are now. Especially if you are in spiritual healing work. For others of you, there is this embodiment you hold of all femininity, Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, High Priestess. You embody all of these different elements in order for you to attract. Now, this is Master Number 11. That's the um, Master Manifester, right? The Empress is the ultimate feminine manifesting queen because she represents attraction. She does not pursue. She does not do. She does not chase. She attracts, right? I think there's a spiritual union that you're coming into with your, I think it's softness. I think that there used to be some, I think softness was afforded to those who did not deserve and the, and the, not hardened, but the more, the wise boundaries weren't in place. It's almost like they were flipped. So I think now you're learning gate my property gate my property and those that have the key code will be let in instead of like the show the bachelor like let them all in and then we'll just you know choose from the lineup it's like no 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 let them you figure out what the gate code is that way the right one with the gate code will be able to come in. If we don't have that gate code, it's going to be a little choppier. Give me a little insight on this Hierophant. Spiritual teacher, ascension, death and rebirth. Both of these are Taurus. So this is also a path towards luxury, wealth, prosperity, groundedness. The devil in reverse, two of cups in reverse, could also be like the romanticism of... Mm, the romanticizing of partnership may have been clouding your judgment when it came to partners and boundaries. Oh, wow. Yeah. Three of pentacles again. Now you have four threes on the table. Can someone look up what angel number 3333? Three, 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 three. There's four of them. 3333. Three, three, three. Can someone look that up and put it in the comments? Three of pentacles, six of cups building it's really is softness it's softer love it's dropping into the heart space it's like innocent the you know the love of a pet and you're like oh my god this is unconditional or like watching a kid with a pet you're like this is unconditional so pure so untouched I think there is some type of um, death and rebirth in your heart space so that you can experience this sweeter, pure innocence. And if it's not with, you know, love, romance, familial dynamics, self-worth. For some people, it could be wealth building as it pertains to, you know, real estate and home. It's still like boundaries up, negotiation tactics, calling in official officials to help you and then leaning into your intuition of whether this like house home contract feels right for you patience being required the hierophant also represents um traditions it's like traditional thinking establishment maybe you're having a a death and a rebirth around what you thought your romantic love life or soul union would be there could be this death and rebirth around. Maybe you used to think like two kids, a partner, a white picket fence, and a dog. And maybe now you're like, oh no, living on a commune with friends that are soul tribe, wearing not a lot of clothes. Maybe we got a cat or a bird. Like whatever, whatever your jam is, whatever your flavor. There's a switch up here. Most importantly though, there's like this dissolution of 
of delusion or illusion that was um, pervasive. This is pervasive energy. To have like the God card and the devil card out, this is pervasive. But it is going away if you choose to allow that energy to leave. Whoa, King of Cups at the bottom. Crown chakra, heart chakra. Did you used to get really rattled in romantic partnerships, like in the dating stages? Do you get really anxious until you hear from them? And then when you hear from them, you're good. And then it's like back to the anxiousness, back to like the worry, like, oh, they're going to dip. They're going to flake. They're going to fall off the face of the earth. They're going to like all of these. Um, it's anxious attachment, right? Well, I guess it's avoidant too. Both of those, anxious and avoidant, both feel those things, but one reacts by being perceived as clingy, like um, over communicative, over involved, over overly present, and the avoidant attachment pulls all the way back. So you like can't see their cards at all. For the, the few of you that resonate with that, that may be the pervasive energy that you wanna focus on. Um, identifying secure attachment, healing methods okay let's go over here toil and labor too many toil and labor can you hit that like button pisces isn't this wild toil and labor card number 38 breaks down to 11 11 master manifester the magician the manifester the empress the law of attraction manifester queen of wands the manifesting queen you're doing it, Pisces. You're letting the old shit go so that you can call in the thing that you really want, especially if you've been waiting for a long time, like, I don't know, three years, six years, Pisces. You have everything that you need now. I guess they're saying you can stop worrying. You don't have to, like, if you go to manifestation meditations with me or if you do manifestation rituals, I think they're saying you don't have to keep writing it down. You don't have to keep chanting it. You're allowed to let it go now. Um, and if you just take your focus off of the manifestation and back onto whatever this pervasive energy is for you, if you focus on healing that through love, acceptance, self-care, nurturing, reparenting, and pampering yourself with fun too, don't forget to do that, that the, the toil and labor is actually going to be around yourself, not the manifestation. It's actually like take your eye off the prize right now. And she's looking at the manifest at the magician here. One more. Woo! That's that rebirth rose, right? The fool energy taking a leap of faith. This really is it because the fool, see how light they travel? They're not bringing any of this baggage with them. They're like, I will just take this leap of faith. Me, myself, and I. Not hanging on to anything. Not hanging on to anything with those Stevie Nicks sleeves. Queen Witch. And the landslide brought me down. Mirror in the sky. What is love? Rise above. Sail through the changing ocean tide. I don't know if these are the words. Hangman, this is you, Pisces. Surrender. They're like, do less with this. <laughs> do less with this. All three major arcanas. Do less with this. Let your soul guide you back into you. They're like, go back in that house. And this isn't, this doesn't mean you have to hermit. This doesn't mean you can't have fun. Doesn't mean you can't go and kiss people or date people or have fun or communicate. It just means if you are calling in this partner or a house, take, you're allowed to take your foot off the gas right now. Give yourself permission to take your foot off the gas and look at this from a different perspective, different tradition, a different way of doing things. Even the King of Cups right here, his eyes are closed. He's like, let me take my eyes off of this and get myself right. When you close your eyes, you go inside, right? Bottom of the deck, Queen of Pentacles, you will receive, baby. I like this. Anything else for this magician? Hey, man. You will be successful. Another major arcana. This is balancing that light and shadow again. Okay. Five of 
Five of Pentacles. It's rewriting that lack. I think how you used to look at, not all of you, only take this if it resonates and don't take it personally. I get this very deeply, I get this. Um, you're triumphing over the Five of Pentacles pattern. So if the Five of Pentacles pattern is like, I date the same person over and over and over again. I can't seem to get out of my own way. It's like a different body, a different hairstyle, a different socioeconomic bracket, different taste in music, but it's the same internal body. If that's you, that's the pervasive energy that it looks like you are able to overcome triumphantly through true self-healing, being looking at yourself from a really honest lens, a different perspective. And then from that lens, reorganizing, how do I move and act in love now so that I'm attracting and building more softness and reliability? For other people, if it's not a pattern of the same person, it's a general feeling of... Um, like, am I gonna get it though? Is this is this kind of love that I imagine? Is it real? Am I going to attract it? Does it exist? Am I asking for too much? There's some level of worthiness that needs to be addressed. All this yellow, right? Solar plexus, there's like an element of worthiness that needs to be uplifted, uplifted, uplifted. Yeah, and you're learning to do that, Page of Swords, right? There's some kind of truth and clarity that when once you walk across the truth, that sword she's walking on, once you walk across that truth about yourself, those light bulbs are going to go off and you're going to be like, oh, that's the perspective I needed. That's the shift that I needed. Queen of Pentacles, though, again, all this divine feminine energy out here, you will receive it as long as you are choosing you and actively shifting like 1%, 1% every day, 1% every day. Page of Pentacles, yeah, confirming. You will receive. Slow, but receive. Let's get um, something else here, right? Potential outcomes for this death and rebirth. Yeah, baby. Ace of Pentacles. That is Madam Uni being like here. Let me give Pisces this. Yeah healing this is a little uh three swords in reverse this is you doing it though when you do it i don't actually this looks like something catapults you or like inspires you in your 3d world to do this type of healing this doesn't feel like some of you have to do some deep deep darks that's okay but there's a lot of people that have already cleaned out a lot of the basement right and this is more so shifting perspective. These swords in the heart, it's perspective. And there's like still a little bit of cloudiness at the top. I think this is a testament to how far you've come in this romance journey, if, the, if this lover's journey is what you're on. If it's house related, if you've been disappointed or scared, there's gonna be something that comes in where you're like, thank God I can breathe out now. It's gonna work out. I was being universally redirected, universally protected. Two of Swords, this has to do with Libra energy relationships, right? Um, protecting your heart. I think Pisces, we're coming back to those coping mechanisms. The ways in which you were protecting yourself were calling in people that you had to be protected from. That's the message. The ways in which you were presenting that was not your truest authentic self that was protecting you, right? Being self-deprecating or... Playing small, dimming your light, not sharing your opinions, not speaking up for what it is that you want. All of those things so that you could keep people, right? You're trying to protect yourself and not be abandoned. But those are all the ways that effed you up. It, it attracted people that you'd have to protect yourself from by perpetuating those things. And if you didn't perpetuate those things, then you did lose them. So it's, it's really self-sabotage. It's a tough, like, mental maze, right? But that is what that is. I mean, I'm speaking firsthand. Like, I used to do all that stuff. And I'd constantly attract people who um, I'd have to keep up the facade or I'd lose them. And guess what? Spoiler. <laughs> Lost them. But it's like for, for our own good, right? It's clearing that five of swords, that mental conflict, that discord that we inflict on ourselves. I think you're stepping into a period of... Um, 
Again, it's trusting that feeling over what's happening outside of you. Brand new beginning, brand new journey. Could be a message from somebody. There are those boundaries. It's also throat activation. Don't be afraid to say who you are. And if you don't know who you are, that's okay. Play with it. Explore it. You got every divine feminine on the table now. You are the Empress, Pisces, twice. Masculine, switch it reverses. You are the Emperor. We bow down to divine masculines. I do. Oh my God, I love me a divine masculine. Bow down. Love, love, love. Because I know they'll bow down to us. Heart softening. That cross in her heart represents the number three. Mind, body, soul connection, right? This is your lotus moment of let me clear out these old ways that were perpetuating the need for me to stay safe. And if I just find safety in me, then I will only attract more safety from others. You become like unrockable. There you go. Four wands. Happily ever after. Attracting your match. High vibrational. This is like really speak that truth. Say what it is that you want, that you like, that you need. Tell people who you are. That doesn't mean trauma bond. Um, that doesn't mean trauma bond. So don't share your like deep darks up front. People will, some people will take that and use that. Don't do that. Just like lead with your light, lead with your truth, lead with how you feel. Set those boundaries. Tell people like, oh, I don't like this. Just like blanket. Like, oh, I don't like it when da 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 da. I like it when blah blah blah. That's gonna automatically like scare the people who can't match. And it's gonna pull people in who are like, I love this about Pisces. I love how real and raw they are. I, ha I love how much they don't give a fuck what they sound like. It inspires me. There's six swords in total here for this potential outcome. Six of swords is moving to calmer waters. You're moving towards harmony. And that was the first card we had out was six, the lovers, harmony, right? Keeps coming back to Divine Feminine, you know? The era of Divine Feminine. <sighs> standing in your receiving power. Standing in all of your light. You can make it a game. Keeping track of low stakes, right? To practice your Empress energy, your Feminine energy. Every day. When you go out into the world or wherever, remember your empress energy. So you have boundaries and you are in receiving, right? You're glowing, you're happy, you're playful, but not everybody gets access to you. Everyone can look, but not everyone can touch, right? See how many people open a door, offer a coffee, strike up conversation, offer gestures that are just thoughtful, polite, and kind and not necessary and accept them. Are you accepting them? This is so small, but I recently went to a local park over here that has like a great walking path. And the person who suggested it to me, they all, they were leaving as I got there and they, they were like in their car. They got out of their car and walked me to this part of the park to give me a breakdown of like where I'd want to go. They didn't have to do that. That was very thoughtful. And like old me would have been like, oh no, you don't have to do this. Go back in your car, go about your day. And I was like, no, like let someone, let someone be nice just to receive nice can you let your can you let people just give nice pisces claim that please hit the like button thank you so much anything else for pisces on this journey six of swords thank you spirit oh my god i love that Ah, oh, this is you are your own medicine pisces all these flowers those are these all have medicinal purposes you are your own medicine. If we could just get the F out of our own way. <laughs> oh, that's so classic. That's epic. Thank you, spirit. I love when that happens. Nine of Wands, releasing all the old. That's a beautiful thing. Let the old version go. Let the old skewed perceptions go. Offer it up like, I know you tried to protect me. Thank you. I don't need you anymore. I'm, I'm going to protect myself by just being me. By just being me. Okay. We got the full moon ceremony on Friday. There's some spots left. If you want to register, the link is below. 
We also have the two-day virtual retreat, November 4th and 5th. That is the weekend of daylight savings time, but I don't, I'm gonna get more information around that because I heard a rumor that we might not be subjected to daylight savings anymore. And if this is not accurate, please forgive me and I will, I will formally apologize tomorrow. I have to look into that. Okay. You're moving towards harmony, kid. How many sixes we got? One, two, three, six, six, six. It's just shifting your focus. Take it off the manifestation, bring it back to you. When you bring it back to you, something's gonna be like, boom, here, hi, I'm here now. Thank you so much. Super divine feminine energy. Receive, receive, receive. I don't feel done as usual. Sometimes I get in a mood where, I don't know why I just flipped that, sorry. Sometimes I get in a mood where I just wanna read for like two hours and I'm like, no one has time for this. You are not for everyone, Pisces. Yeah, that's so beautiful. The little Jupiter, Jupiter's eye of the storm over here. Embrace your weirdness and face your true north. Is that not the message? Pisces, please tell me in the comments, what is the weird thing about you that you're proud of that you used to hide? Mine is how quirky and corny I am. Thank you. It's also singing off key in front of thousands of people. Also, thank you. Can't stop that. It makes me too happy. I can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Rock it to the rhythm. Because we get down, baby. Get down. I don't care. <laughs> Look at this beautiful feminine body. Earth pulsing. Pulse of the mother. Empress. Slow down, Pisces. Time in nature. She is receiving, 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 receiving. Is the message clear? Can you please hit that like button? Thank you to all 1,000... There's like 1,300 people, 1,400 people now that consistently like, and I'm like, oh my God, do we need a party? Just us? Bottom of the deck is the Courageous Peony. This is my favorite card in this deck. Multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen. Spirit is delivering. So, you know, sometimes I think spirit's like, if I'm not nailing the cards, if I'm not like driving enough emotion, they're like, we'll get her with the oracles. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. Only supervising. Be brave, be you. Because you're going to attract somebody that's like, I love this. Or I love that you are you. Even if the thing about you that you're exhibiting is like, I don't vibe, but like, I love that you do it, you know? <sighs> I love love. I love love. It's coming for us, kids. Actually, maybe it's just here. Love is here. One more. Pisces, I love you. Get a word from Lady Isis. Triumph of the goddess. That's it, kids. It's the period of the divine feminine. That is it. Tap into your goddess energy, baby. Pisces, hold my hands. Take a big deep breath in. Hold it. I'm sending you so much Reiki love and healing. Release. And affirm, I am receiving. Yes, you are, Pisces. I love you. See you manana.